afternoon. I come to you from the breakfast room of All Saints Rectory here in Newton Heath on the day that victory has been declared in Europe. The German High Command will at once issue orders to all German military, naval and air authorities and to all forces under German control to cease active operations at 23.01 hours Central European time on the 8th of May 1945. And I expect to see you in church on Sunday at 8 o'clock for matins and, um, and, and, and sung matins at 11 and uh, uh, Holy Communion at 12. Gosh, this is terribly loud. Mrs. Bunn, how do you switch it down? Mrs. Bunn? Mrs. Bunn, how do you switch it down? Hello and welcome on the 8th of May 2020. I thought it might be a bit of fun to do a piece as it were in 1945. Well you'll have seen how that worked out if you've made it this far in the video. Um, yes it's true uh, VE Day, Victory in Europe, is today but in fact the military forces of Germany had surrendered the previous day and so the words people heard over their radios uh, this day, 75 years ago, were as follows. The German High Command will at once issue orders to all German military, naval and air authorities and to all forces under German control to cease active operations at 23.01 hours Central European time on the 8th of May 1945. Well, how different things are now, 75 years later. And my tea mug shows what All Saints was like uh, 75 years ago. You'll see uh, just on the other side of All Saints Street, there is what was the school and the institute, where now we have the Peace Garden. So perhaps on your daily exercise, you can walk or jog there, and pause for a short space of time and say thank you for the peace we've had in Western Europe since that time. But sadly, peace wasn't quite so true for other countries that are now part of the European Union. That was the case for some time, but there is peace now. Quite simply, uh, war and violence is what happens when the talking stops. And when I was in primary school, we were encouraged to have pen friends in European countries. And my hometown of Norwich was twinned with Rouen in France, Koblenz in Germany, and Novi Sad in what was uh, Yugoslavia and is now called Serbia. And the idea was to keep the younger generation of people talking across international boundaries. But as I mentioned, there was quite a bit of trouble uh, in what was Yugoslavia and I lost touch with my friend in Novi Sad for a number of years, but thank goodness now there is peace. Now I didn't know this until quite recently and I was slightly surprised to find out that Manchester is twinned with Wuhan in China, where it's believed this ghastly virus came from. But let's not blame the ordinary people who are surely not responsible for this terrible virus we believe began there. Manchester is also twinned with Chemnitz in Germany and St. Petersburg in Russia. And we also have links with Los Angeles in the USA and Cordoba in Spain. So what do you know about your brothers and sisters in other parts of the world? Let's keep talking because you young people are the future and you don't need to do it by writing letters and sticking them in the post because it's possible these days and safely to do it electronically via WhatsApp or Skype or even uh, Facebook uh, Messenger on the video setting if you are supervised appropriately. Well, at the end of the Second World War, uh, this country had been in lockdown for six years. Children from the industrial towns and cities like Manchester, many had been sent to the country for safety, separated from their parents and immediate family. And my dad was one like that. He was raised in London 
And his mother, my grandma, found that really, really hard. And she was so upset that she travelled one day from London to Devon to take him home. Well, in the end, she was persuaded not to do that and she stayed the night there and went back to her home in London. Just as well, perhaps, because there had been an air raid shelter the previous night and her neighbour's house was completely destroyed and Grandma's house had been badly damaged. The 8th of May 1945 was a great cause for celebration and needs to be remembered today and I hope that we never ever forget it. I can't imagine what that joy and relief must have been like. My mum was in London on the day that this was announced and she was there with some of her girlfriends. She lived in North London and made the journey into the centre of the city to be there for all the jollification. But let's not forget all those who lost their lives on whichever side of the war they were on and remember them. But the thing that makes me really very emotional and well up a bit is the thought of all those children waiting for daddy to come home. Daddy to come home from the war. And some children may have had no memory of their fathers at all. And it may be the first time that these fathers met their children since they were born. Well, how was your day today? What made you happy? What made you sad? Difficult in these times of lockdown as you think about what you're going to do tomorrow. But try to follow all the good examples of people who've gone before us, especially those who lived here in Manchester, in this part of Manchester in Newton Heath during the Second World War. Trying to copy their patience and the understanding that they had that they couldn't always have what they wanted when they wanted it. And there's a special prayer for VE Day, and I'd like to share it with you now. Lord God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all humankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit, Give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. And now, um, although my video editing skills aren't absolutely A1, I'm hoping that I'm going to play by the medium of Bluetooth a piece of music that surely you will all recognise, and I hope you have a happy bank holiday this time and I hope you're able to be with as many people as you can be safely and we thank God for all those who've gone before us and we thank them for their sacrifice and for their example. You may know the words and you might like to join in. <laughs> 